Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I'm so sorry. It has been a couple of weeks since I have filmed or uploaded. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, filling you in on what has been going on. And I also have a bunch of new makeup here to play with. So I'm excited to show you all of this as well. To make up for my slack uploading schedule, I will be getting out three videos over the next week, so get excited for that. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you around here. I'm aiming to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you know anyone that has fair skin or would love my channel, make sure you share and let them know. All right, well, we have got a lot to get through, so this is probably going to be a long one. Make yourself a cup of tea, sit down, relax, and let's get on with it. I'm going to start off with primer, and here I have the Rimmel Insta CC Primer. This is a green color correcting primer, one of my favorite kinds, and it's going to neutralize my redness. So what has been going on? I feel like I have been pretty busy lately, so my YouTube kind of got a little bit neglected, which I am sad about. I'm not happy with myself, but I just didn't have time. That does an all right job at neutralizing the redness. I'm still pretty red throughout here, but it's not too bad. It's a really nice moisturizing feeling primer, so I like that. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I have been so excited to review this foundation for you guys, so I'm also filming that today. It will be up later this week. So I'm just going to quickly apply this. I won't tell you much because I'll leave it all for the other video. All right, so foundation is on and I've also just had to turn on the fan. So sorry if you can hear that sound, but oh my God, it is getting so hot. My mustache is sweating and that's not okay. For concealer, I'm also using one by Makeup Revolution. This is the Fast Base Concealer in the shade C1. And this one is described as a lightweight, buildable coverage to conceal dark circles and imperfections. It has one of those sponge tip applicators where you just wind the product up. The color is light, but it's not really light. It's good for those days where you just want some coverage under the eyes, but you don't want to go for that brightening effect. So as I was saying, I've been quite busy. I actually had my birthday last week. I turned 27. <laughs> So it was my birthday on a Friday and I went out to dinner with my family Friday night. We went to Teppanyaki. It was so much fun. So that was really good. Got very spoiled by them. And then on the Saturday, I went out with my girlfriends. Just going in with a little bit more to build up that coverage. And then I'm going to set my under eyes and the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 05. So the plan was to go on Sea Deck which is this kind of party boat that leaves Brisbane. It goes around the river for a while and comes back. There's a DJ, drinks. It sounds like a lot of fun. So we have literally had like torrential, how do you say that word? Torrential, torrential rain for the past two weeks. So on Saturday, it was pissing down and we were like, shit, let's just still go like whatever so on the boat there's only limited amount of seating so if you line up earlier you're you know you have a better chance of getting some seats so the boat was meant to depart at quarter past three we got there at like 2 30 lined up it was all good and there was about nine of us by the way next minute the security guards that come out of nowhere and they're just like everybody move and they're like pushing us all out of line and making us line up in like all these separate lines, two people, like you're in school. And all my friends are trying to squish in together and he's like, no, get to the back of the line. And we're like, we don't wanna to go to the back of the line. We've been waiting here. We got here early so we could be at the front of the line. Like don't send us to the back. And so anyway, the whole line got muddled up. Me and one of my friends were down the front and the rest of my friends were all the way down the back and I had everybody's tickets. 
So we're on the phone trying to like send tickets to each other, freaking out, not knowing what's going on. Like the security guards would not tell us what is going on. We were trying to ask them and he's just like, get back in line. Like they were quite mean. <laughs> they were not nice at all. Like I know they had a whole bunch of people to deal with, but like, can you at least let us know what's happening? And so we're standing in line, all confused. It starts freaking raining. So we're all trying to huddle under umbrellas. And then all these police just come out of nowhere and like swarm us. There were police all on the boat, like doing this massive raid. They had drug dogs. They were sniffing us all in the line. We were just like, what is happening? So this went on for quite a while. As I said, the boat was meant to depart at 3.15. It was like 3.30 and we're still standing in these lines, getting sniffed by these dogs for like the third time. It was so embarrassing. This is in the middle of South Bank, by the way. There are people everywhere. They were walking past, like staring at us, like wondering what is going on. There were kids walking past with their phones, filming us. I'm like, no, 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 like, don't get my face in this. I'm not involved with drugs. Don't get me a part of this. For contour, I'm going in with this MAC Mineralized Blush, but it's in the shade Cosmic Force, and it is just a perfect contour shade for fair skin. So they finally start letting us on the boat. They do a little bag check. They didn't even scan our tickets, which we were like freaking out about, trying to send each other our tickets. Didn't even scan them. So me and one of my friends got on the boat, and like tried to make a run for these tables. But because it was raining, all the VIP tables are usually like around the edge of the boat, but because they were all soaking wet, all the VIT, VIP tables got moved into the middle where the public seating is. So there was no seating for anyone. There were just so many people trying to get out of the rain. It was just, oh, it was a mess. And so one of my friends who wasn't on the boat yet called me and she was like, look, I don't want to ruin your birthday, but I think we should ditch the boat because who wants to stand in the rain on the water for four hours when we could be in a bar or in a club not getting drenched? And I'm like, you know what? That's a much better idea. So we got off the boat, we ditched that and made our way over to a pub for the afternoon. That is just such a nice shade. It leaves a really nice natural looking shadow. Mm. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Back to Bronze in the shade Sunkiss. I am still so obsessed with this. So we end up having a really good night anyway. We went out, hit up the clubs, a bunch of old gals. <laughs> it was so much fun. We had the best night. And then the next day, my friend Tanil wrote a big email to them complaining about the whole experience, saying we were treated like prisoners. <laughs> It was actually quite funny, but it, she needed to complain. Like it was an absolute mess. We understand that things like this happen and the police needed to do what they needed to do. But you know, a bit of information could have been given, you know? So yeah, so Tennille ended up sending a nice big email complaining. And in the end, they are going to give us all a refund. So <sighs> winner, winner. On their website, it actually says like no refunds due to weather or this, this and that. So we weren't expecting anything to happen, but now we're getting refunds. So <laughs> thank God, because our nine tickets all up were almost $400. So I've been trying out some new brushes for bronzer because I literally use the same one every single time. And that is the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. So I picked up a few Sigma ones to try out. This here is the F40 Large Angled Contour. For blush, I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Love Flush Blush in the shade I Will Always Love You. And then on the Sunday, it was my little brother's 18th birthday. So I couldn't be sick for very long. I had to get straight back out of bed. We went down to the Gold Coast. There's this new place called Top Golf, and it's just like a indoor, a golf range, I guess, and you just, everyone hits it out into the same field kind of thing. I don't really know, I'm not into sports, I don't really know how to explain this, but it was so much fun. I've never played golf before, and I'm not very good at it, I'm not gonna lie. One of my sisters is pregnant, and she's about 36 weeks, like she's due very soon, and watching her trying <laughs> to 
to play golf was so funny because she's only really little as well so like she's got this big belly and her arms are out trying to get in front of her boobs and her belly it was just so funny i'm just going to go in with a spray of fix plus to settle all these powders into my skin for highlighter firstly i'm going in with the jeffree star liquid frost and this is in the shade Frostbite. One of my girlfriends actually got me this for my birthday. <laughs> so I've just put some onto the back of my hand. A little bit too much, I think. Oops. And then I'm going to go in with the bum of my beauty blender and lightly tap that in and then very gently tap that onto my cheekbones. This is quite a glittery liquid highlighter, so if you're into that, you will absolutely love it. It's definitely not subtle, so be warned now. <laughs> I'm then just going to lightly go over the top of it with my Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. So as you can see, this is very extreme. I wouldn't wear this on like a daily basis, but if I'm going out somewhere special or I just want to be really glowy, this is the product. Next for my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Rimmel Brow This Way Fill and Sculpt Eyebrow Definer. Now, if you watched my last couple of uploads, you would know that the Maybelline Brow Definer, the Total Temptation has been my absolute favorite. And this one here has a similar kind of system going on. So one end you've got the spoolie and then the other end it winds up and you've got that similar kind of diamondy shape. Now this one is a nice product. I don't like it as much as the Maybelline one because I find the form because I find the formula is a little bit more waxy whereas the Maybelline one is a bit more on the dry side, but in a good way. I really prefer that. I find this can look a little bit too thick and chunky, but if you just go lightly and spoolie it out, it'll still look quite nice. I probably won't be able to talk while I do this, so I'll quickly just fast forward through it. All right, so my brows are on. Moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Too Faced Then and Now palette. One of my girlfriends got this for me for my birthday and I don't think I ever would have looked at it in store, but when I opened it up, I was like, wow, that is beautiful. I'll just give you a close up of the shades. Look at these shimmers down here. They're just so pretty. I think I might go in with these two mattes and then maybe do like the purple on my lid. Mm. So I actually went in with this shade first and that one's called GG. And now I'm going in with that darker shade and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and slightly blend it in.
And now I'm going to go in with the highlighter that I used on my face and use that to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I'm going to go in with some dramatic lashes today. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Light. But first, I have a new mascara. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. It has a nice fluffy wand on it, so that's my kind of thing. It's giving my lashes some good separation. Nothing worse than clumpy lashes. For me anyway. I'll keep testing this out and wearing it on days when I'm going to work when I don't put false lashes on and I'll keep you updated in a future video. Alright that is one eye complete. I'm just going to finish the other one and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the part where you're meant to see me apply my lipstick, but something happened to the footage and that didn't quite work out. So I used the MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. All right, that lipstick is a major yes from me. Oh, love it. Because my eyes and my lips are both quite dark, I am just going to go in with a little bit more blush because I feel like I'm looking a bit pale. All right, well, that is everything for today's video. I actually had a lot more stuff I wanted to chat to you guys about, including my wedding and upcoming videos, but that's all right. We will get to that in another video. I will list all the products that I used down in the description box below if you missed anything. I will also have my Instagram link down below if you want to come follow me over there as well. I hope you enjoyed watching today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up for me. And if you aren't already, then subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.